Hey, Jane. Hey, how are you? Good. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 35 years. Some of the other trials. Yeah. What are some of the other trials that you've covered? Oh, every big trial in the New York area over the last 35 years. Madoff. Uh, I've just been at Sarnev in Boston, but usually I work in the New York area. So whatever you can think of, Martha Stewart, whatever you can think of, Scotty, everything. Oh, boy. What, what is your role in the courtroom when you're when you're sketching? My role? Yeah. I am supposed to uh, sketch what I see so that I have a visual aid along, along with a reporter. I'm like a journalist. I'm trying to tell the story of what's going on in a courtroom. What were I'm you... not a portrait artist. I'm a sketch artist. Yes. What what mm-hmm. what were you trying to capture yesterday with Tom Brady? Well, I was I knew who was important to the story would be Tom Brady and Roger Goodell, and um, I was trying to get to see if there was any interaction between them or any kind of dynamic whatsoever. I wanted them both in the same sketch. I wanted to show them sitting inside the courtroom. There was no real drama inside the courtroom between them. Goodell sat with his team in the front row, and Brady sat with his team in the back row. Brady spent most of the time looking down, maybe on a cell phone. And um, no one really, there wasn't that high drama action wise or emotion wise going on visibly. But if there was, I would love to have captured that. But that's what my goal was. How, how many sketches will you do? Like yesterday, how many sketches did you do? I did three sketches yesterday. One was a wide shot, which had a, a thousand people in it, the whole courtroom, all sitting in their rows. And the, then I did one of the judge alone. And then I did one of uh, Brady's lawyer at the podium and Brady sitting there. So I, how many I do depends on how much time I have inside a courtroom hearing. Sometimes it's an arraignment. I have just a few minutes. To do a sketch, then I'll only do one, and I'll only have a couple of people in it. She's uh, Jane Rosenberg, the painter, courtroom sketch artist, uh, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Why did you apologize ab- about what you sketched well, I, yesterday? I don't tend to in my courtroom sketching. I my tendency is to just grab onto some something to make a likeness quick. I'm not really flattering people in general. I mean, he's a very handsome guy. I don't, you know, I don't mean to offend him or his fans. So I'm getting a, a gazillion nasty emails from his fans. Apparently, everybody loves him, and I didn't make him look pretty enough. And he is a good-looking guy. So if I didn't make him look good enough, I apologize. I, I did the best I could under the short circumstance, short time I had. I had to meet deadlines, and I ran right out with my sketch. I don't fix them up after I do them. They're done. I run outside the court, and they're sent in immediately. I so you got hateful emails. Oh, lots of them. So lots of found my pers- I don't do per- social media. I don't do Twitter or Facebook. So there must be millions more. But uh, just people found me on my personal email and started writing me nasty comments. I, it's shocking to me that people have. Waste of time to do this. I mean, it's just like, why bother? What's the point for these people to write these things? But then I did get a lot of support, people, too. I, I thought that was very nice. I appreciated all those comments. I want to respond to those people. I probably won't respond to all the nasty ones because I, I just think, think that's a waste. There's something wrong with people who want to do that. Can you, laugh, time. Can you laugh it off, Jane? Uh, I wasn't sure, and I'm not sure yet, because I've been so busy. I, I was worried I'd wake up depressed today, but honestly, some of them I do laugh off. Some of them are so ridiculously mean, cyberbullying, that I just have to laugh because it's ridiculous, some of the things people are saying. It, they're so cruel, and, you know, I, I, can't, I can't take them to heart. I well, do have to laugh some of that off. I thought some of the cartoons were funny. I'm glad people have a lot of free time to make little little art projects on, and that's fun. Good for them. What do you do with the sketches when you're done? Well, I have well, I have gazillions of sketches in my in storage here. I generally I keep them. Sometimes I sell them. I don't know what I'm going to do yet with this one. If that's what you're asking, the famous sketch. I haven't figured this out yet. 
Oh, I was I was willing to buy it and put it in my uh, my man cave here. I think I've had on my computer a million requests to buy it also. Oh. I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I need a little time to digest it. What would it cost to sketch my guys on my show? I have I have four guys who work with me on my show. No, I'm they're not for handsome. A million dollars. Do you have it? Let me see. Do we have a million? <laughs> No, Jane, we don't yeah. have a million. Darn How about it. Nine hundred and ninety five a bargain. I have nine hundred and ninety five dollars. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want no, to talk you, money you, seriously. I'm just trying to just trying to help you out because my guys aren't uh, good looking, so you, nobody's gonna be upset when they say, Hey, you didn't make them look beautiful. Well, that's good. <laughs> Jane, good luck with this. When's your next, uh, are you back there next Wednesday? I, you know, well, I don't really know yet. Nobody's hired me yet. Doesn't, they don't usually do that way in advance, but somebody did write in one of their nasty emails that she should probably take the call in sick that day, and maybe I will, because wow. I know I'm going to be under a microscope. People are really going to no. expect that one, and I don't like that. I just want to be in the background, do my job, and not think about the public. Just trying to do the best I can for me, not for everybody else. Yeah, I can understand that. It's not it's not fun reading those comments, no matter if you have a sense of humor or not. And uh, uh-huh. I'm sorry that you you got that yesterday. Uh, thank you, All right. Jane. Thank you for joining us. Okay, you're welcome. All right, Jane Rosenberg.